Hi, it's Julie. Welcome back to Chickory's Travels. Today I want to talk to you about the next important step in my RV remodel. What to do about the windows. So my design consultant, Lisa Brown from Always on Liberty, told me that the most important thing is to choose your fabrics first before your paint. And that's because it's a lot easier to return something if you don't like the fabric or the way it looks in the place rather than repaint everything. Another piece of advice that she gave me was to make sure to have some type of a theme or a focal point, something in mind that uh, you know kind of inspires you and that you want to go for. For me, that's kind of a beach theme, and that's because we spent a lot of time in Florida. We love Florida. When we were there, I collected sand from all different beaches and made a, a cool little art and craft type of thing, and I want to continue to have that as a focal point. However, I don't necessarily think that I want to get curtains that um, fabrics that are specifically beach like with shells or something on them because what if I want to change that later? So that's another tip. Just kind of keep an eye on the future. So for me, I think I'm going to try to find something that has colors in it that would go along with beach theme. So it's going to have probably blue in it somewhere. For me, uh, maybe like some coral tones or something. And so I am off to the store with Lisa to find some fabrics. And this pattern is it is symmetrical which means you could hang it this way or this way ah. okay so you are not bound by oh my god I gotta buy a whole bunch so you could hang it this way or that way okay okay so you just have to decide if you want the longer symmetrics this way or mm -hmm. them tall so, like in the bedroom, since I have these extra um, little small ones on each side of the bed, right? do you think I should get extra of this to yes. do on the side of the yes. bed and this yes. only to do? Yes. Because you don't want all your right. curtains to match, right? Right. right. Perfect. And, and if you have this closer to your bed, then you're not bound by this, oh my God, now what am I going to do for a comforter or, a, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Great. Okay. Now, just for intense purposes, mm -hmm. for your bedding, what I would do is window, window, and I would do bedding with the gray and the white. Okay. And, and the navy. Here in, in the home decor section of Hobby Lobby, um, we are in the curtain rods, the curtains, and the pillow covers. And what's really magical about this is, uh, I think once or twice a month, they put all this stuff up, 50% off. There are no signs, so we're not buying anything today. We're money savers. But what I did want to tell you is you can get these cool pillow covers that you can put on existing pillows and it has the measurements an 18 inch by 18 inch is a standard throw pillow so you could come and get some really cool pillow covers and half of that would be seven bucks or eight bucks each so you have these really great patterns and colors and um, you can really really accessorize and, and put splashes of color in your uh, your RV we found this and I really love it because we also picked out some curtains for my slide or sliding glass door right. in my kitchen area. It goes leads to the deck and this totally matches that pattern. Yep. And I didn't bring that curtain because I knew it matched the dark gray in here and you can tell it is exactly the right color. Right. So we're not 100% sure what we're going to do with this but we're 100% sure it's a good match. Right. And if you notice, Julie, 50% off and again pay attention to your Hobby Lobby coupons and your sales because uh, once a month, twice a month they put all these on sale so keep an eye on those sales. Good deal. Now another important tip that Lisa shared with me is that you don't necessarily have to buy 
fabric by the yard that um, you know you get cut and you're going to actually make your own curtains. You can do things like use bed sheets or shower curtains as an inexpensive way. So I actually found some fabric shower curtains that I really liked at Kohl's and they were buy one get one half off. Plus I got Kohl's cash which is like a coupon that you can use and it's $20 off. So I got the two shower curtains and then I'm going back in a couple of days when I have that $20 off and I'll be able to get the third one for only $4. Now the last thing is that you want to, before you do any type of cutting or changing to something, you want to make sure that you like it so if you don't, you can return it. So hang it up in the space that it's going to be in and see how you actually like it. And that's what I've done right here. This is the fabric that I really like. I want to hang it over this window space. So I am just put it up on the cabinet here as close to it as I can so that I can see how it looks in the light in the room. And I'll leave it up here for a few days. And I'll open the, curt open the window shades and turn the light on and then I'll see it in all different lighting conditions and see if I really like it. If I decide on that after a few days of it being up and then I'm actually going to use it, that's when I'm going to go shopping for paint colors next.